PSRB 1919 plus 21 is a pulsar with a period of 1. 3373 seconds and a pulse width of 0. 04 seconds. Discovered by Jocelyn Bell Burnell on November 28, 1967, it is the first discovered radio pulsar. The power and regularity of the signals were briefly thought to resemble an extraterrestrial beacon, leading the source to be nicknamed LGM, later LGM-1. The original designation of this pulsar was CP-1919, which stands for Cambridge Pulsar at RA 19 hours 19 minutes. It is also known as PSR J1921 plus 2153 and is located in the constellation of Vulpecula. In 1967, a radio signal was detected using the Interplanetary Scintillation Array of the Mullard Radio Astronomy Observatory in Cambridge, UK, by Jocelyn Bell Burnell. The signal had a 1. 337,302,088,331 second period and 0. 0.04 to second pulse width. It originated at celestial coordinates 19 hours 19 minutes right ascension, plus 21 degrees declination. It was detected by individual observation of miles of graphical data traces. Due to its almost perfect regularity, it was at first assumed to be spurious noise, but this hypothesis was promptly discarded. The discoverers jokingly named it Little Green Men 1, considering that it may have originated from an extraterrestrial civilization. But Bell Burnell soon ruled out extraterrestrial life as a source after discovering a similar signal from another part of the sky. The original signal turned out to be radio emissions from the pulsar CP1919, and was the first one recognized as such. Bell Burnell noted that other scientists could have discovered pulsars before her, but their observations were either ignored or disregarded. Researchers Thomas Gold and Sir Fred Hoyle identified this astronomical object as a rapidly rotating neutron star immediately upon their announcement. Before the nature of the signal was determined, the researchers, Bell Burnell and her PhD supervisor Anthony Hewish, considered the possibility of extraterrestrial life, we did not really believe that we had picked up signals from another civilization but obviously the idea had crossed our minds and we had no proof that it was an entirely natural radio emission. It is an interesting problem, if one thinks one may have detected life elsewhere in the universe, how does one announce the results responsibly? Who? Does one tell first? When Anthony Hewish and Martin Ryle received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1974 for their work in radio astronomy and pulsars. Fred Hoyle, Hewish's fellow astronomer, argued that Jocelyn Bell Burnell should have been a co-recipient of the prize. In 2018, Bell won the $3 million Breakthrough Prize in Fundamental Physics for her work. The English post-punk band Joy Division used an image of CP1919's radio pulses on the cover of their 1979 debut album, Unknown Pleasures. German-born British composer Max Richter wrote a piece inspired by the discovery of CP1919 titled Journey. The English indie rock band Arctic Monkeys used a sound based on the pulses in their music video for 4 out of 5. Thanks for watching.